Greetings, travelers, and welcome to the final Tempo Wild meta snapshot of the Onyxia's Lair era. In the final weeks of the expansion, we're seeing an almost unprecedented variety of viable strategies at top levels, so much so that it's starting to attract top standard format players and content creators to play wild in the lull between expansions. Many different playstyles are represented by the top decks, so there is truly something for everyone who's looking to explore our format. That's great for diversity, but seriously, what are the best decks to play if you're trying to gain an edge in this meta? Let's break it down. At the end of the Onyxia's Lair meta, we recognize a whopping six tier one decks that we recommend for climbing in wild, starting with Mechathun Warlock. Mechathun Warlock is the top combo deck of the format, packed with anti-aggro tools to ensure survival, and an over-the-top combo that is almost impossible to interact with. Speaking of over-the-top, we also have Questline Hunter, which picks off early minions and finishes the opponent off with a souped-up hero power thanks to Tavish, Master Marksman. And we're not done with combo decks yet. Joining the ranks in Tier 1, we have Quest Rogue, which dominates slower combo and control decks with endless waves of 5-5 minions. Quest Rogue is a top pick for high legend gameplay where aggro decks are relatively rare. If you prefer to win on board, there's also Minion Inner Fire Priest, which tends to dominate aggro and build up massive minions to win in a single attack, or Beast Druid, which overruns the board with an overwhelming swarm of minions. And if you want to slow things down, even Warlock is the way to go. Well, if you consider turn 3 Mountain Giants slow. Many different playstyles are represented in the top tiers, so you can play what you like, but if we had to make a recommendation, you can try Minion Inner Fire Priest on the climb to Legend in order to dominate all the Pirate Warriors, and Quest Rogue after Legend to take advantage of all the Warlocks, Druids, and Shamans. And speaking of Pirate Warrior, let's talk about Tier 2. Pirate Warrior is still the most popular deck by far at diamond ranks, and it sits at the top of our current tier 2. Don't get it twisted, the deck is still powerful. It tends to crush experimental and unrefined decks, but the format has spent months adapting to it, so it's no longer quite the juggernaut it used to be. Free Shaman falls in the same camp, where Snowfall Guardian and the Flurgle Toxfin combo are still quite potent, but most of the top decks can win in ways that fast AoE removal and infinite freezing simply cannot deal with. Joining these decks, we have Aggro Shadow Priest, which is fast but fragile, and the Oaken Summons powered pair of Dragon Druid and Linecracker Druid, which both shut down aggro and burn with armor gain but tend to get crushed by the top tier combo decks. All of the decks in tiers 1 and 2 have their strengths and weaknesses, so the lines between the tiers are a little more blurred than usual. Any of these decks are solid picks for climbing, and there are dozens of other decks in the lower tiers just waiting to be explored. Overall, we're enjoying an open format that's a bit hard to pin down, and we're eager to see if that trend continues continues after the upcoming expansion, Voyage to the Oaken City launches on April 12th. Be sure to check out the full report for all of the details on today's meta, and as always, thank you for watching.